What's up, YouTube? It's me. I'm back again. I'm talking about Takashi69. His Instagram live bullshit. Reason why he snitched. And everything else. Let's get into it. Let me get some nicotine. Excuse me. A new drink. Some Grey Goose screwdriver. Alright. Number one, you you can't talk about being hard, nigga. I guarantee. You finally came out and said you weren't a gangster. I give you props for finally coming out. And then me, you're a fake ass motherfucker. You're, you're fake. You make this excuse that they were sleeping with my baby mama and they were stealing millions and beating me up, jumping me. Crying like a little bitch, begging for my, your life. That's what you did, nigga. That's what you did. If you were a real street nigga, you would have handled business yourself. You would have went for revenge. You went to jail. And within 24 hours, you started singing like a little bird. And still trying to talk tough. Real G's don't respect you, my nigga. Real G's don't respect you. Because you didn't handle shit you aren't like a man. Street code. I, I, again, my opinion is it first started with the rock, Rick Ross incident with the fake ass Rick Ross, fat motherfucking nigga, that stole the name of free Rick Ross. If I'm pronouncing the wrong, name wrong, I apologize. And the real OG that sold bricks, that lived that lifestyle, that did this shit. You know, former Fed, correction officer. I blame that because people continue to support Rick Ross, after those allegations happened. Back in the 90s, in the 1998 era, the 90s era, it would have been done and over with. But majority of the fans don't know people about the lifestyle and experience the lifestyle, then experience shit that I've experienced. Or they wouldn't, have, they wouldn't support you. Especially after you sing like a little bird in the courtroom. You can't deny it, nigga. There are videos and videos of you testifying. But you blame on the circumstances. People got me. I didn't testify. I didn't go to court singing. Because I'm real. And you're fake. And in the media. So. Again. This is all my, about my opinion, about his video, and then him coming out 
jail or prison because he's ir irrelevant to me. But again, I watch the people that I follow on YouTube make videos of his video and I saw it. It's garbage. It's garbage. You're telling to people, kids, that never been around that lifestyle, never lived that lifestyle. Maybe before all this court shit, you had street kids respecting you. But I knew you were joking in the beginning. I knew you were a soft nigga. I knew you would sing if you ever got locked up. So, again, you're garbage. You're a piece of shit. If you want me, you want beef from New York. I'm from the dirty South ATL represent. Represent, nigga. But you probably bring the feds because you're a snitch, motherfucker. You're a year old, man. You're into. I want, I'll give you this. You're, you're, you're entertaining and funny. But you're not. Your, your music is garbage. You're a mumble rapper. A garbage rapper. No real OGs respect to you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you like my content, please, please hit the subscribe button. Much appreciate, much love and respect to everyone. Again, these are all my thoughts and my opinions on this shit. Alright? To all the fake ass gangsters that need to be called out for who they are. Stop supporting fake bullshit. Alright? I'm out.